My name's Dr Helen Fraser and I'm a Senior Lecturer in Astronomy at the Open University. Um, what does that mean? Um, that means I have an academic job where I do some teaching, some research um, and a little bit of administration, although it feels like a lot. Um, and really my research area is astrochemistry. So that's the study of how stars form, how planets form and whether or not there's life in the universe. And I do that three ways really. I go to telescopes and observe in space, or at least my students and postdocs do. Um, we work in the laboratory on experiments like this one just beside me here, um, where we try and recreate the temperature and pressure conditions in space and then study how the chemistry happens in those environments. Um, we also go on to these parabolic flights, the vomit comets, to study how things stick together and start building planets. And then we do uh, theoretical work, so we do work at computers and computer simulations to try and understand and tie everything together. In regions where stars and planets form, uh, we have um, molecules forming, so chemistry happening, and they have a huge influence on that process of star formation. So by understanding chemistry in space, we can actually understand star formation process. But actually, it's all the ingredients that go into making a star that are also the ingredients that then build planets and potentially build life itself. So I, I'm at the very pinnacle, the very small edge of that question, you know, where do we come from and what are we made of? So in this particular job, I've been um, at the Open University three and a half years. Before that, I was um, in the University of Strathclyde in Scotland. Um, and that was my academic career. So I've been um, a permanent academic for about 10 years now. And prior to that, I was what's called a postdoctoral researcher, which is almost like serving your apprentice to become an academic. I worked in lots of places. I worked in um, Berkeley in California, in Nottingham in the UK, in Leiden in the Netherlands, uh, in France, um, in Paris. And uh, before that, I was studying. So I was doing my PhD and before that, my undergraduate and then school. <laughs> I don't have a typical working day. I do so many different things and my time divides up between um, teaching, that can be undergraduates or, or supervising my PhDs and advising my, my postdoctoral um, colleagues, or um, doing research, that happens less and less, more senior I get, um, but my students and postdocs do a lot of research for me, um, writing a lot of grant proposals and papers and things and having to do administration, which is my least fun part of my job. <laughs> I love um, when I have that eureka moment and I do research and it, it all works and it fits together and it has a great picture or image. Uh, and when you go to a conference or when you, you're talking to colleagues and you go visiting and you're talking about science and battering ideas around and you suddenly have more ideas and great moments. I, I love that. I love that whole discussion of science and the learning process. That's, that's the best thing. I don't think I have a great achievement of my career. Um, I think getting my PhD was a big achievement and it's an attainment, but it's a little bit like when you get your school exams, they're really important at the time, and the more you go through a career, the less important it becomes because other things become important. But now I'm at a stage where I'm helping others to get their, PhD, their own PhD, and when I've been their primary supervisor and they pass and they're successful and they can write doctor in front of their name, that actually is a huge achievement for me because it's setting them on their path to their future. I think that's a really important thing.